Oh no, it's one of them. Ah, oh. right, okay. I've only just noticed. This is one of those Bristan, what do they call them? So we've got a little issue with this siphon inside here. I personally don't think they're easy fit because they're a pain in the ass to change. It'll flush, but it won't reset. As you can see, this uh, flush button is broke. Right, let's get this out. Ah, uh, I don't know. Let's get this out. In the bin. Yeah, another tool, that until you add one, you don't realise how much you use them. Little job here for a mate. All the time, so many people comment, all your jobs seem to be for mates. Got a lot of mates. Yeah. See? Fucking load of shit. Right, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. It seems like it's been ages since I've done an intro to one of my videos inside my van because I think the last video was the Installer Live show. Quite a lot of people like that video, but I always knew it wasn't going to be a massive video because a lot of you who subscribe to the channel subscribe for plumbing content, whereas the Installer Show stuff was a little bit niche, is that the right word? A little bit about the industry more than what about the plumbing. But had great feedback on it. A lot of people were like, yeah, it's really good to see. And a lot of people have sort of messaged me, said, definitely gonna come to it. It's just a great event for people to come to. But the problem is you have to take a day off work to do it, which I understand. So yeah, a lot of you like that video. And the video before was the video showing the customers on the two bathrooms that are done. Now, loads of people have come to me and messaged me and commented in that video saying, it was great to see the customer uh, the two the customers sort of the appreciation that went into the bathroom so i'm going to try and do a few more of them videos on the bigger jobs and try and get a little bit of an insight into the customer side of stuff so also what else have i got to say we're nearly at at the point of filming this we're dead close to hitting 17,000 subscribers so if you haven't subscribed to the channel but you like watching the videos and you like the content just hit that subscribe button. It don't cost anything. It just helps so much with the channel. It helps to keep the YouTube's algorithms working and pushing my content. And it, it, it's a load of behind the scenes stuff. But I really do appreciate everybody that subscribes to the channel and comments on the videos and hits the like button. It does make a massive difference. So thank you to you all. But we have had a fair few new subscribers. So if you're new to the channel, on Mark channel is about real world plumbing just showing it day in day out exactly what i get up to whether it be going to the merchants whether it be things that go right things that go wrong i try to show a bit of everything it seems to be working people seem to be enjoying it so that's a little bit of background on it in tonight's video we've done a little bit of jobbing around because i've had a the past couple of weeks have been all over the place with the installer show and stuff like that and i'm also trying to film content i've got some good videos coming up which i've sort of stuck away because i'm going on holiday in a couple of weeks and i want to be able to put some content out we've got um what have we got we've got a great immersion eater video that's coming soon and also i've got a video coming about um remember a few months ago we went to the house with the thermostatic mixing valve the the, the tmv somewhere in the property that was limiting the heat to the tap um, so we we're either going to have to go through the ceiling or through the floor or whatever. But I've been there. There's progress on that. So that will be coming very soon. Um, but before that will be the um, immersion eater job, which ends up being a little bit tricky, should we say. So that's coming up. But yeah, today's video is a jobbing video. We've got a, uh, what have we got? We've got a valve, a, a really good quick two minute swap of a toilet, a concealed toilet system siphon bit of a tongue twister so we've got that we've got <laughs> we've got um we've got a kitchen tap made by a company that i do not like at all and this just cements my infuriation for this company so keep watching you'll see what goes on there and then um we've also got an issue with the toilet um as well so yeah so it's a pretty good video this week back to the normal plumbing sort of stuff so as i said hit the like button hit the subscribe button all that sort of jazz Appreciate everything, and let's get on with the video. So we've got a little issue with this siphon inside here. When the button is pressed, let me see if I can show you. Oh 
button is pressed, it will flush, but it won't reset inside there. So it flushes, but then just the actual valve itself inside there just stays up, so the water just constantly flushes through. So what we do is, so here we've got a replacement valve. It's exactly the same. I came out the other day and checked which one it was. All of this from a place called Toilet Spares. I'll have the link in the description. Toilet Spares literally just swapped that out for the new one. So you just pop that one out. Literally as simple as that. So yeah, the other one, it just wasn't dropping back down. Just got the water flushing through. So as you can see now, it's coming back up. Nice, easy, quick, two minute fix. As you can see now, it's completely stopped. Hit the button. See the water rising back up because the valve shut down. Right, so issue we've got with this is obviously as you can see this uh, flush button has broke and also it's missing a part like an L-shaped bracket that fits onto the ball valve so I'm gonna basically just for ease I've picked up another rocker set um, I'm gonna take this off replace that replace that basically strip all this down put new idiots in it and connect it back up um, it never these are the ones, you know, when they don't put the holes in the back so it's not bolted to the wall, which is sort of handy. But we'll undo it from here. Obviously, got the water off. Um, and take that off, get it switched over. As I always say, wet vac, just for sucking the bottom of the cisterns out, water out. Again, another tool that until you add one, you don't realise how much you use them. But it's perfect for that, so. So you know when you unbolt it, you take it off and tip it up, and water just goes everywhere. Saves a lot of hassle. <laughs> nice to see the nuts aren't. Uh, seized on usually when you're taking the cistern off as we'll all be well aware of the nuts and bolts can be a right nightmare so as we can see as well that is about knackered I'm hoping I've got one of them in the van they're slightly bigger than you know like the the, the rubber push on ones these sort of sit around it hopefully i've got one if not i'll have to pop and grab one but yeah we'll get this out get that out swap it over and that's that sorted so that's them ones out as you can see that is just snapped on the top and we'll replace it same same as what we've taken out got one of them but slightly different uh siphon but we've got the buttons and whatnot for the top anyway so straightforward enough so we'll pop them back in so we've made it back up 
Um, we've just got to put the lid on that now and sort that out when we test it, but connect it back up under there, get the water back on, give it a complete test, and hopefully it should be fairly straightforward like that. There we go, sorted. There we go, nice little quick jobbing job, straight in, straight out, ball valve swapped, siphon swapped, back up and running. Quick little job here for a mate, all the time, so many people comment, all your jobs seem to be for mates. Got a lot of mates. But yeah, this is for a very good friend of mine. He's not long, well, say not long moved into your house. He's been in the house a while now, six months or so. But I'll quickly show you what his issue is. The old Chinese water torture. Um, he's, um, he's having a load of work done in the house soon. I just want a cheap tap chucking in. By the time you've farted around with washers and this, that and the other and matched them up, I'm just going to pick a cheap tap up for it, get it swapped over and uh, get the old Chinese water torture sorted. So it looks a fairly straightforward job. Obviously shut the two isolation valves off underneath here and they're, uh, they're shutting off. They're shutting off pretty well. Dead straightforward this one. We'll just undo these two flexes, undo it off there. Oh no, it's one of them. Ah, oh, right, okay. I've only just noticed. This is one of those Bristan, what do they call them? Easy fit, fuck this fucking Bristan again. Um, it's one of them easy fit taps. Now, I personally don't think they're easy fit because they're a pain in the ass to change. I think from what I've only fitted one and it was ages ago before I sort of fell out with Bristan from what I can gather I'm sure there is like yeah there's a grub screw at the back here you undo them two grub screws the tap comes off and you just fit another tap on the top but getting the actual plate out is a bit of a pain in the ass I've only just realised it's that right we're just going to take all that out anyway and put the new tap in so Bristan easy fit I wouldn't bother, they're just a pain in the arse. So what we've got to do then with this one, water's obviously off now, is I think they just pop, these ones just pop off the top, as I said, we've got this little, I don't know if you can see it, camera too far away, just unscrew these little grub screws and it just pops straight off the top from memory. Yeah, see? Load of shit. Pisses me off. Bristan. Fuck you, Bristan. So, working on that principle, you've got to drain it down from underneath before you can swap the tap off the top. It's just a big faff, isn't it? So, it's like that. And then. Yeah, and then I think, from memory, I'm using all my mate's uh, towels now. I think it just screws off the top. It's just disconnected from underneath. It's a pain. Just last little bit of water because it's half come out the top of the tap anyway. People wonder why I hate Bristol. It's nothing to do with the shit showers. Well, it is. Funny enough, I think I might have added it into my installer show um, sort of video. I caught up with Aqualesia and um, off the back of a video I did a, a few weeks ago where they came out after four years and replaced the shower for a customer of mine. No questions asked. I just went over to them and saw the show and said, look, your customer service uh, is second to none. And off the back of that, a lot of you lot who subscribe to the channel said that you're just gonna use Aqualesia now. So all I'm gonna fit now, to be fair, unless the customer specs otherwise, it's Aqualesia showers because Bristan let me down on the shower front. And now Bristan, <laughs> easy fit. Is a pain in the ass. 
Right, let's get this out. See, ah, uh, I don't know. Let's get this out and in the bin. Oh, that's it, that's the side that clamps the actual fit in. Oh, see? It's a pain in the ass. What a pain in the ass. So that's, that's now took, right, good. That's going in the bin. That, 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 and that is going in the bin. And then all we're obviously doing with this normal tap is uh, fitting the flexi hoses. I'll tighten them up now. It's fitting the flexi hoses hand tight and then getting the Getting the threaded bar, fitting it in. Washer on. And then, as we all know. And then, as per usual, like a normal tap. Push it down. Into position. How easy is that? Easy fit, for fuck's sake. And then we'll just go up there, we'll get the plate on the bottom, get the new rad tap kit out, make life a lot easier. Now, <laughs> now people are gonna say, and people always say about this, oh you can do that tap trick. You don't need you just need to put them washers on underneath and it hooks round on the worktop. Yeah, it does on a stainless steel worktop. Not on a thick wooden worktop like that. You've got to go old school underneath and uh, fit it properly like that. And then just pop the nut on. Like so and then just spin that up. Then get the old Neurad tap kit on it to make life 20 times easier. I installed a show. I think I watched about five people, one after the other, buying these kits. And someone even come up to me and when I was on the snug stand and said, "Mate, after your video, made me go out and buy one of these get one of these uh, Tapex kits, one of these tap kits because it just saves." So much time, so yeah. Easy, easily one of the best bits of kit bought for a long time. There we go, all connected back up. That's how it was before. As I said, all this is coming out soon anyway, but at least they've got a tap now. It doesn't give them Chinese water torture. <laughs>